A couple of weeks ago, I decided to check the Chrome Web Store to see if there were any extensions I could make use of on my day-to-day -day basis that could facilitate the development of my activities. After looking through a lot of them, there are five I've chosen that offer really good functionalities. Let me know down in the comments if there are any other Chrome extensions you frequently use that I should include in a possible second part of the video. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to support me because that motivates me to keep creating content. And now, let's get into the video. I don't really know if I'm alone in this one, but usually when I have to research a topic, mostly for educational purposes, or when I'm doing different things at the same time, I tend to open a lot of tabs on my browser. And because I know there's something I need from those tabs, I never close them. And they keep accumulating until one day I use them, or I realize I don't need them anymore. However, if you're using a laptop like I am, and you're not only browsing the web, you're also using other programs, in my case I'm usually editing videos, thumbnails, reading PDFs, apps and so on. The thing is that those tabs actually consume a lot of your device's memory, which can contribute to your laptop not performing as well as it's supposed to. One tab lets you store in one place all of these tabs that you're not really using, and they advertise the extension to help with 95% of the memory these tabs consume. To use it, all you need to do is click the icon of the extension and all the current open tabs are going to be stored inside a single one. This is not only useful for your device's memory, but it also helps to categorize the different tabs you've opened. As you can see, I have been using it for quite a while and I've stored some tabs that until now I haven't used. I haven't gotten rid of them just to show them on this video, I promise. But you can appreciate the usefulness of the extension because instead of simply deleting the tabs and forgetting these things I'm trying to learn, like this Python and Photoshop thing, I have them here and I always remember that that's something I should consider setting a time to give it some attention. You can assign names to the groups you create, which can visually help you identify a specific set of tabs, and in case you want to move them from one group to another, you can just drag and drop them with the other tabs. The second extension is actually the fifth app I was going to mention in the previous video, which in case you have not seen, what are you waiting for? Go watch it. And this extension is called Liner. It is a mobile app and a web extension, which in a few words is designed to help you highlight anything you read online. It saves the text and the web page where you got it from. You can make comments to these highlights and store them in groups for better organization. So for example, if you're researching different topics and you don't want to have a lot of tabs open on your browser, you can use the extension to store the important bits of those pages and group them based on the topic they're treating. Unlike the previous extension, this is a freemium one, and the difference between the free and the premium version is that with the first one, you can only use seven highlights and three comments per document, with the ability to only create three folders to store your highlights, while with the premium version, you basically get unlimited everything, plus some other features they're planning on implementing in the future. Now, I do consider the price of this premium version to be quite expensive, it's $10 a month but build annually, although at the moment I'm recording the video there is a sale for 70% off, so if you're seeing this on the first days of the video being published and you're interested in the extension, you should go check it out to see if the sale is still going. Personally, I don't use the extension with a high frequency for me to consider buying the premium version, but I can understand the benefits that other people can obtain from it. As I was telling you before, I tend to do multiple things at the same time, which leads to me having many tabs open, and sometimes I'm reading or writing a file and I'm also watching a YouTube video. I think it's useful to have some background noise to help with concentration. That's just a personal thought, but if you also like to watch the video while you're doing your things, Google has this fascinating extension which allows you to reproduce the video in a picture-in-picture -picture format for you to be able to multitask in a whole nother level. From what I've used it, I can say it works really well with YouTube videos and you can make it work with other platforms, but it's sometimes difficult. Nevertheless, I have been really pleased with the performance of the extension. You can relocate the video as well as expand or reduce its size. Nothing much else to say about it, a really solid extension from Google. We also have another one called Google Dictionary that I've been using quite a lot, which provides the definition translation and pronunciation, which is really useful, of a word whenever you double click it. They provide the option to do the same with phrases, but I've never obtained any results from it. Every time I've tried, I always get a message saying no definition was found. But even still, you can click the search the web option and it googles the phrase for you. I'd say this extension is really practical if you like to read about things you don't know much about and there are still some technical terms you're not aware of. Or if you're in the process of learning a new language and you encounter some words that you need to translate. The last extension I'm going to be reviewing is called Volume master. Now I don't know if any of you have ever been watching a video or maybe listening to a voice message that has a really low volume and you can barely hear it so you turn it 
all the way up and then you forget about it and when you start watching another video your ears get completely blasted this extension is not specifically designed for this situation but it helps regulating the volume of each individual tab all you have to do is click the extension icon and you'll get a small window with every tab playing audio which you can use to switch between tabs in here you can regulate the volume with this slider or the arrows on your keyboard from 0 to 600 percent if you think about it the extension can also be used to increase the maximum volume of your laptop let me give you a quick demonstration of what i mean for you to see the difference by yourself comments which was your favorite extension of the video. Personally, OneTap has definitely been a life savior for the performance of my laptop, and I've really liked its organization system. As a side note, the channel now has an Instagram account just in case you also want to follow me there. It's more personal and it's been really fun. I've enjoyed it quite a lot. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like if you did. It helps a ton. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.